So have you ever wondered on how to host your React Byte projects or even to deploy them? So today we're going to see how to deploy this very React project to Vercel for free. And as you can see, it's now running on the local host. But at the very tail end of this tutorial, we'll see how we can host this very project to Vercel for free. So in the meanwhile, subscribe, hit that notification button and also like, be ready for the ride. So the very first thing you're going to do in this procedure is to first create a new repository for the very project so that we can move our code from the code editor straight to GitHub. So we're going to name it Skina because the site was called Skina and create a repository for this. And after creating the repository, we now head to our code editor where we'll push the, uh, from the terminal from the git bash to push this very code straight to GitHub. So the very first thing is git, git init to initialize a git repository and after git init we'll now add it to the staging area let's just give it a minute to initialize the git repository and after that we'll add it to the staging staging area all the files we'll add them to the staging area and after adding them we now head to committing uh, commit the very files to uh, to github with a message and finally then we'll push the very code. So let's just give it a second or two and we'll commit it. I think everything is great. Yes, we'll now head over to git commit. Uh, just name it anything. This is the initial commit, anything you want. And after that, this is now the time where we'll, we'll push our code straight to GitHub using this very link we have here. So this will be git push, git push, and then we'll paste that link there and we're on the master branch. And after this, we will have pushed our code straight to GitHub. And after now pushing straight to GitHub, because Vassel will really require us to source our code from, it will source the code from GitHub. So this step is very vital. Ensure you create a GitHub account if you don't have and ensure that you push your code straight to GitHub so that we can continue on how to deploy. Let's just give it a second to push everything. It's writing the objects, writing everything, pushing them to GitHub for efficient use. So in the meanwhile, we just wait for the code. It's coming. And uh, after that, we'll now head to Vercel where we'll be able to host it within. It will be so fast. Everything is so fast, so let's just confirm if everything is good. It's, it's, it's still writing the objects, but it will be done in a few. After this, we'll continue now straight to push our code straight to Vercel. It finally completed the pushing uh, stage. So after this, we'll now head back. We can even reload the page to see if everything came into our very Yes, everything is okay. So after having our code base in GitHub, we're now going straight to host our very site to Vercel. And this is the Vercel dashboard. If you don't have a Vercel account, ensure you create one so that you will arrive to such a dashboard. So after creating an account, you now have account. And as you can see, I've hosted several of my projects here in Vercel. And the very first thing you'll do here is to add new. You'll come to this tab, add new, and then you add a new project because that's what you're adding here. And after adding uh, a new project, you'll come to the import Git repository part. For you, you will hit the drop down uh, icon there and add a GitHub account. Even me, when I'm adding a different new repository, I, new repositories, I, I go through this project procedure. You add the GitHub account, it will lead you to this. Mine is this, I'll configure it. It will give you a very good outline on how to do this. And for me, I only add, if you want to add all your reposit repositories and give Vassel the opportunity to access all your repositories, well and good. But for me, I only give it access to some select repositories. So like the one we did, uh, right now uh, is Skina. So I'll go, I'm going to just search for Skina. And this is the one we have just pushed right now. And I'm going to add that and save because that's what we are going to deploy at this very moment. So I'll search for it over here again, Skina. 
and this is the very one and i'll now import this very git repository to vercel and this is the project name you can give it anything you want i'll just retain it as kina and this is where it all happens if you are working with a vite uh, with a react vite project the framework preset you'll put is vite but if yours is purely react you'll just head and click this other one create react app if it's purely react but if it's vite you will want to set settle with this the framework preset which is vite for react you will go with the create react one and also ensure for the root directory ensure how you pushed your code for me you see the source directory is inside one folder all this is inside one folder so ensure that you don't have one folder which leads to another just ensure it's inside all of the main folders are inside one folder so from there you now head over because the main folder which is the source folder is in the root directory so that's uh you not need to edit anything everything if you have environment var variables there there you will add them but for me i don't have any so immediately immediately after doing all that you now deploy you will deploy and after this let me assure you maybe if you have some issues in your code that's the only thing that can stop it. but if everything is okay be rest assured that you now have deployed your react by site or your your react site straight to a cell and it's now accessible let's just give it some moment as you can see it's also it's even giving a congratulatory message you have done it you have deployed your project straight to vasel and as you can see i even have the preview i'll just continue to the very dashboard and as you can see you have a lot of tabs for the deployments the analytics vasel is just the thing and i can just take uh, let's let's go to this domain skin uh, skin of a cell i think that skin of a cell dot up i think that's good Yes, I just go uh, skin. I can just start it. I want to create a very good impression. Uh, Vassel, Vassel up. Uh, I think that was the domain. Uh, I think, yes, it was skinna. Vassel up. Yes, that's the one. And as you can see, our React Byte project has been successfully hosted and deployed in Vassel, as you can see everything is now working perfectly it's now loading and one more thing i wanted to add in this tutorial is to show you that immediately you make changes in your code base and you go a step further to push it to github it reflects directly in your site let let me give it a try as you can see right now its beauty has a purpose i can go back and change everything to uh, beauty has no has no purpose beauty has no purpose as you can see i just give it some time to load beauty has no purpose as you can see it's not beauty has a purpose right now as it is here but it is beauty has no purpose because i've just changed it right now if we commit this if we just add this change we commit this with a message uh just give it a message uh change the description yeah and just give it like that and then we now push it to github i'll just recopy that very link and it was the master branch just give it some time to push you'll see the changes reflect directly without you needing to go back to vassel as you see everything is now working even when you reload this you will see a green bar here a green circle telling you that the changes are being now uh as you can see the deployment has now completed it just made the changes and if we reload this you will see beauty has no purpose and this is what we just hosted what we just deployed right now so you will not need to go back to vasel you just make changes to your code base and if the changes don't break production everything will be fine everything will work perfectly so thank you so much as you can see this was the localhost one uh, this was the localhost uh, localhost one and this one is the one that we have just just deployed at this moment so 
please ensure you leave a like, ensure you subscribe. You can even comment if you're facing issues. I'll be more than glad to solve each and every issue. Thank you so much. Also, welcome back to TechStream once more. Thank you.